So you straight through into this lovely varnished wooden floorway here and uh, a set of uh, double doors there, so there's a bit of an extra insulation and this is all open. So lovely um, entrance hallway with stairs up to the bedrooms. To the right there you've got the loo and then I'll just take you through to the lounge which is through there. Useful cupboard and uh, uh, through there. So straight through into the lounge you've got a working fireplace and a huge picture window there looking onto the green space and the trees beyond. And so if you come around here you'll see the, the space that uh, you've got here. And at the end of here, then you've got a very wide dining room, which is always open plan and leads off into a conservatory, which uh, if you go through to, you'll see it's a wood varnish floor, just like the hallway and uh, a lovely, well-maintained garden at the back, which we'll show you in a, a few moments. So from this dining room area, you can come through to the kitchen, which is a, a kind of galley style kitchen. And at the end of the uh, kitchen, you can see the utility room, and it's got a space for a pantry stroke washing machine and a doorway out to the garage. You've got a picture window over to the garden and then back through to the hallway and uh, through to the downstairs uh, loo, which is at the, uh, underneath the stairs. And in a moment, we'll take you up the stairs through to the bedrooms. And um, yeah, we'll do that now. Okay, so as we go up here, we'll go through to the main bedroom first of all. In the end here and you'll see a great big picture window there with lovely views onto the green and the trees um, obviously not in leaf at the moment it being winter you've got um, a side window there and um, as I go back out then you'll see this huge enormous built-in wardrobe which is uh, the length of the room very deep um, next door to that you'll see another additional bedroom with again two aspects and a great um, lot of um, storage there and that this bedroom obviously looks out to the rear of the garden so not overlooked at all there's a lovely tree in the background there I think it's a cherry from memory and then through to the smallest bedroom of all um, which again looks out into the back garden so this is the third bedroom door to this is the bathroom The shower over bath and um, you also have um, inside of this uh, bathroom the combi boiler which is relatively new and then behind you you have the fourth bedroom which is getting lots of storage looks over the front of the property and last but not least um, a separate loo uh, to the bathroom which is always useful so we'll go out into the garden but just before we go out into the garden i'll just show you another storage area in the conservatory there uh, which is a useful um, space and then we'll go through the patio doors out to the garden it's a very blowy windy day and uh, we'll just make sure that it's open there we go okay so if you come out here you can see it's a very deep large garden very well uh, stocked it's got things like a garrier elliptica there that's the one with the tassels a mahonia on the left hand side that's a cherry tree as i said a bamboo and then towards the right hand side if you go around the corner you can see there this leads to the front of the property you've got a little storage um, cupboard there which is quite deep the depth of uh, this lean-to storage area here and then as you come through then this obviously leads to the front of the property and that lovely um, green overlooked, non-overlooked space. We'll go um, back around and then I can show you the garage. So this is the doorway back into the kitchen, as you can see. And then we have the side door to the up and over garage, which has got space there for a fridge. Also has the meter. So if you'd like to know more about this property, give us a call or drop us a line and we'll take you forward.